There are a few other special features I would like to talk about. First of all, some cameras can have GPS. GPS automatically geotags your photos when traveling, so you will remember the exact location where the photo was taken. Some cameras have built-in GPS, and some can be used with external GPS device. Some cameras also can have a feature which lets you to connect your camera through Wi-Fi to your iOS or Android devices. If your camera can be connected through Wi-Fi, it means it can be used with an app. Through the app you can sync, organize, edit and download your photos. You can also control your camera and use your phone or tablet as a remote monitor. Some cameras are also able to capture HDR images inside the camera. If you don't know, HDR combines multiple exposures to capture high dynamic range. And we've talked about high dynamic range before. It is a difference between the lightest light and the darkest dark which can be seen in the photo. This is an example I took with my Nikon D5300. This image was taken without HDR. And as you can see, there is a difference between foreground and background. The background with the city and the sky is much lighter than the foreground, which is in the shadow. So pay attention to the shadow area now. This is the same scene, but this time I used in-camera HDR function. Foreground, which was in the shadow, became much lighter and you can see more details and the light through the whole scene became more even. So what in-camera HDR did, it took several images with different exposures and some were exposed for foreground, some for background, and then combined them into one image and gave us more details. So the conclusion is, it is good to have in-camera HDR, but it's not absolutely necessary because you can do the same by taking pictures with different exposures and combining them into one image in post-production. There are several different uh, softwares, including Photoshop, which can help you to do that. And you can get even better results. Some cameras also have in-camera multiple exposure function, with which you can create some cool effects. As for example, this image created directly in the camera. As you can see, there is two of me in one photo. The way I created this image is by setting the camera to double exposure and by moving my position for each of the exposures. Here is another one. In this case, I just changed position of my hands. This effect you can also achieve in Photoshop. Some cameras have interval timer and time lapse photography option. Interval timer and time lapse photography option in the camera lets you take images automatically at preset intervals. It can be every hour, every few minutes, or even every few seconds. With interval timer option, the images are saved as individual files to the camera's memory card and can then be built into the time lapse sequence in the special software on your computer. On the other hand, with time lapse photography option, you can produce a single time lapse MOV file inside the camera. Here is an example of time lapse. If your camera doesn't have those functions, you can still create time lapse with help of the device called intervalometer. Please click to check out the last part of the series about video features of the camera. And don't forget to subscribe, follow and check out my website easy-exposure.com.